you have women accounting for almost 60% of, of graduates. When they enter in terms of the workforce, entry-level professionals, it's still more than 50% are women. But you then see this very sharp tapering off in terms of, by the time it's middle management, only about 11%. And at the CEO and board level, only about 5% are, are women. Why? Part of it is also what we see in terms of an overall low level of participation of women in the workforce. In fact, Malaysia has a participation rate about 46, 47%. What that means is that for every 100 women of working age, only about 46 are actually working. And this is quite tragic, and that makes us the lowest rate in Southeast Asia. The problem is even threefold. In fact, maybe just beyond rising, you know, we see the issues. One is the issue of retention. We're not able to retain women in the workforce. And what that means is that when you look at the profile of labor participation by age, you see that it peaks in the 20s, and very quickly towards the late 20s, you see participation dropping off. The second issue is they're not returning to the workforce, because if you're seeing other Asian countries, even uh, like of Korea and Japan, you see that even though it, it, it tails off towards the late 20s, there's a recovery towards the, the 30s, that there's almost like a second peak. And obviously the third issue is that even for those who remain, they're obviously not rising up to the high levels. One of the survey done by McKinsey in 2012 uh, suggests that there are top three reasons or common reasons why we are not able to retain women at workplace. The first reason is what they call it as a double burden. And honestly, I don't like to use the word double burden. I would rather say it's a double expectation. It's actually expectations at work and managing that flexibly with the expectations at home. The second reason is what they call it as the anytime, anywhere performance model. Anytime means that when your boss calls you, women, make sure you answer your call. It can be anytime. Anywhere policy means for women, uh, as we become more globalized, we take on more positions that we possibly 